approach this but we're doing what's appropriate for the now there's more than you need um just the appropriate chords for the tune you also need a strumming pattern that is strikes a balance it needs to be fairly reasonable to play and then it needs to also fit the tune so and there's a very common strumming pattern pops up more often than you might realize which is just kind of kind of similar to this but let's say it would be something like down 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 up down up. that's what i would say and also when you're well first of all i kind of glossed over this but maybe you're not comfortable with this yet so just change from chord to chord so at a random pace let's say the g okay that's g this is a minor go back to g and then a minor say in your head okay this is G and this is a minor notice how a minor goes seamlessly into C the different similarities similarities so go back and forth with them at random d g try to go faster until you feel pretty solid about the type of changes that you're making all right so that's the first thing mastering the chords i'm going to apply this to obviously various too this is a Oh, see, that's the one song I was thinking about doing, but I wasn't sure. All right, I'll think about it. That's the one song I was thinking about. It's a good point. <laughs> it's a good point. It's just the one tune I was like, I don't know. It's <laughs> funny you should say that. All right, I'll get to that, buddy. That's a good one. Because actually, I'm going to capo up for one of these tunes anyway uh, at the second fret. Only one of them. It's right here. Um, okay, so that's mastering the chord. Try to go fast. If I got a hair on here, or what? Oh, just one strum though. Now, now let's say for example, generally let's say okay, four strums per bar, right? But say for example that the song is too fast. And you're getting overwhelmed. You're saying, "I can't keep up with this four strum," and it sounds too rigid. Then you would say, then you have options. So you could go first of all one strum, one, two, three, four, like that, or you could go on one and three and still sound good. Two, three, four. I want to put this on. Let me try to show you. I haven't necessarily rehearsed this, but. Tell you guys if I did. Let's do one. And see, I'm moving side to side. Now, even if you do that, the hand remains kind of fluctuating. That's what rhythm is about. Rhythm has been around for longer than simply the more complex layers to music rhythm is a primitive thing like this uh, monkey ready see how it's moving keeping the beat so even when you see professionals they remain in motion okay now let's try on one and three ready G chord. That's a good, 